guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing you a hair tutorial for like, things we're coming up to summer-ish. Um, I'm going to do like a really like beachy, tussle textured hair, which I think is really quite in right now. I think it's always in, like who doesn't love that look, I think. But I'm going to show you how to do it. I have clipped in my new sort of grey ombre extensions from Beautyworks. Um, which obviously don't look very good right now because I haven't done anything with my hair so my hair is kind of a bit wavy and these are like dead straight but when I'm finished you'll see that they look really really amazing like I love them um, I do have a code for beauty work so I leave that here and you can get some discount if you want them they are amazing hair I really really like them and this color is just insane I love it um, so what you're going to need for the tutorial is I'm going to use a tong. Um, this one is a 32 millimeter one. So your wand. I'm going to use some heat protecting spray. So I'm just using the Beauty Works one because that's my favourite. And also some texture sort of beach spray. I am so excited that John Frieda has brought this back. Because I used to use this literally when I was like, oh, I don't know, like 14 maybe. And then it just like disappeared and I was so upset and I the last bottle I had I kept for ages and I was like really just hardly used any of it so I was so upset that I discontinued it but it's back and it comes in this bottle like it's aqua bottle and it's called beach blonde and it's seaway sea salt spray and it's honestly well I'm hoping it's exactly the same formula it smells the same um but it's really really good so that as well I'm sorry if I sound weird, I don't know if I sound weird to you, but this ear is like completely gone, it's like deaf, like I literally can't hear anything, um, I don't really know what happened, I've got to go to the doctors, but it's just literally deaf, so if I'm shouting or I sound weird, then that's why, because I can't hear anything this side, um, okay, so let's just get started, I'm going to show you like a few bits, and then I'm just going to like skip you into fast forward, because you have to do like every bit of hair, so it does take a little bit of time, but I do find if I do this once, so say I'm going to do this today, that could last me like uh, quite a while, like definitely until I wash my hair, and the extensions, it lasts for a long time, so that's really good, but let's just get started. So you want to section off like the bottom part, so quite thick, but obviously not too thick, just sort of like the bottom section of your hair. And then I just divide it into to the front like that. You want to turn on your wand. Make sure it's brushed. Make sure it's brushed through. Apply your heat protecting spray. It smells so good. Okay, and then I take really uneven sections. You don't want to take all the same. You don't want to take like everyone the same amount so like say some take like this but then some take thicker some take thinner just vary it because you really want this to look like it's sort of naturally beach wave not that you've spent about three hours <laughs> doing it so this section and get your tongs and we're gonna first of all curl away from our head and what you want to make sure that you're doing is you've got space in between can you see so there's space in between each turn. This way it's going to be more of a wave rather than a curl. The, to be honest, the more space the better, but this can also vary. So do some like this, do some further away. Let it drop so you can see it's like a wave. A wave! And then just give it a little shake. A shake, shake a woo. Okay. The next section. So this next section we're going to do exactly the same but we're going to go towards the face, the opposite direction. So instead of going like this, you're going to go like this. But still make sure you've got the space in between. you can see that one's a little bit more curly because there wasn't as much space and then the next one you're going to go behind so basically you're just alter alternating the way you go so in front or behind this is a thick one Okay, 
and then just do the exact same thing to this side. Okay, so once you've done that section, you just want to take down another section and do exactly the same thing. As I said, I mean, that section didn't take me long at all because these irons are really hot. Um, but just take your time and just make sure every size is different and just work your way up. I think I usually do about three sections. So like a bottom, middle and top, top, middle and bottom. Okay, so the last section, the top section, I always try and do the top section, make sure you have got your hair and the extension, because extensions blend much better if you're curling them as one. So like, you wanna get a bit of hair and a bit of extension, so it's like curling it into it themselves. Because if you like curl the extension and then curl your hair, it doesn't really work, it looks a bit odd. So make sure they're combined. So just apply your spray spray and then continue okay now when you get to the front obviously you're not going to have extensions right to the very front of your head so with these front bits do the same but like alternate and whatever, take slightly bigger sections and make sure it's really wide apart on the tongue and also don't leave it there quite as long because you don't want your hair to be like curlier than the extensions because obviously this hair's a bit shorter so it's going to be curlier whereas the, the long bits are going to drop out more so you really don't want this bit to be too curly so just leave it like, do you see, it wasn't really that long at all and then just do, try and make sure the the very front bit of your hair, yeah, where is it? So try and make sure this very front bit is going away from your face because it's just a bit more flattering that way. Keep the tongs really pointed down and really wide. So look, that was only three turns and don't keep it there for very long. One, two, three. So you just get that nice wave to the front. Okay, so that's that side done. And then we just need to do this side and then we can style it. Okay, okay. so once you're finished, you should have something that looks like this. Um, where's that bit of hair gone? So obviously we're not going to leave it like this. <laughs> so you want to just give it a good shake. Kind of rub it in between your fingers, like the ends, just to really loosen it up and create some texture in there. Oh, this hair is so nice. Okay, and then with your sea salt spray, just sort of spritz it in. Okay, 
Oh, I love the sunglasses. Okay, so just keep playing around with it. Get some more salt spray in until you're happy. And there you have it, your beachy tussled waves. I personally do think this hair looks better on blondes, like especially if you've got like that kind of beachy multi-tonal blonde, it looks incredible. Like this technique will look so good on your hair if you have blonde hair. I do think it looks good on brown hair. I think what it maybe is, is it looks better if you've got like quite a lot of multi-tones in your hair because it gives you more depth and more texture to it. Whereas obviously my hair, it has like texture and different tones obviously down here but up here it's pretty much just black so I don't feel like it looks as beachy but I still love this kind of hair like even for the night out like I prefer my hair to be curled like this like messy and tussled and messy really that's just me then like ringlety I don't really like that look um but yeah give it a thumbs up if you like the video hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time bye guys my Instagram pictures, what